Uh, so welcome to Mini Fridge. I'm Andrew Rada, and I'm Kristen Plesko. And uh, today I've already forgotten the name. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I, it's I, I know it's TV, and I don't know if they gave us their actual human legit name. Their Google certified name, or Facebook certified, or whatever Facebook always says they do. Real name. I'll just go with TVN because it has their actual name on here, which sometimes you don't realize that it says your legit human name. So, uh, this this one's from TVN. Um, we should update with the previous one, though, what we just learned. So we just got an email from um, the previous person that did the uh, piece that we ended up coming down fairly hard on. Um, yeah. And Shyvana. There you go. The Shyvana piece that we, we sort of found, the parts were sort of the overlaid and copied and stuff. And uh, we yeah. shouldn't really read the thing off, but no, no. The, the person was like, you know, essentially super they, apologetic, and they were very know, apologetic and, and embarrassed, and they wanted to do better, and they, you know, they they said that yeah, they said that they were embarrassed and they they felt sort of crappy about themselves, which I I'm sorry about that, but um, they they said that they they're uh, excited to progress and they they want to try and do it again, yeah, and everything. Um, Which is a really great way of looking at it. Yeah. Because so, sometimes you really do need to be... I mean, I think we've all had our teardown moments. Oh, yeah. Through yeah, art. Definitely. I mean, I mean, I was I was kicked out of a final exam for music. And I think Good. I've said that on the, the podcast at, at one point, right? Fucking deserve it. I was actually... I really with did. That, with that piece of shit music but you basically every episode? With, <laughs> 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 no, so, so sometimes you're going to be torn down and it's going to be really awful. No, but, but they, it's they your took attitude. It, they yeah. took it in a really in a really great way and uh, they want to redo the piece and we'll definitely want to critique it and stuff again if they yeah. would let us but yeah, yeah. I understand so, if they don't want to but we would like <laughs> to you know we're, we're not oh sorry we're not like the I think my ears like close as I raise my voice and I just can't. I don't think that's a thing that happens to anything <laughs> I ears think I, cl- oh. easy there oh easy there cowboy oh okay <laughs> but basically they, they took it in a really positive way and we're really grateful for that so mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. I said, we if we, we know what to expect when we, if we if know. we had known going into it uh, what was going to happen, we probably wouldn't have recorded that episode. Yeah. We don't try and, and embarrass people or anything like that. Yeah, it just we literally were like sixteen minutes in, <laughs> and we're like, oh, oh shit, <laughs> fuck, yeah. what do we do now? And that was the so last that's... one we had recorded in that batch, so yeah. we we couldn't really restart, and it was late and. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, usually at that point we would we would abort, yes. abort mission, but because That's we were so far, we were like, okay, well, I guess we'll just roll with it, and we'll talk about it. Well, it's also an important thing to bring up, but yeah. I think we've said our piece through there, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. This piece is by TVM. Do you like that sweet pun? It's not really a pun. It's not a pun at all. So, this is uh, some fan art that, actually, let's read the thing. Hi there, I really like your new podcast, guys. I really... I can't read today. I wanted to know if you could critique this piece of fan art from the anime Princess Tutu. I worked really hard on it back in the late 2014 beginning of this year and was proud of it, but now I see many things are off, and I'm okay with it being critiqued now. It's okay if you want to use my name, too. I don't mind. Thank you. Um, and uh, I have actually watched a bit of this anime. And so it's about like a... a she's like... <sighs> is she like a duck that turns into a girl or a girl that turns into a duck or neither? Like, what's, what's um. happening? Or she a mecca? Yeah, I sort of <laughs> forgot. Like, I I thought that she, yeah, it's got the same hair swoop. I yeah, I think it's essentially like this. It's the Swan Princess, but it has an anime. Oh, but it's not like a it's not like Ness version where no no she, no it's, where it's, Prince it's, Prince Derek is coming for her and she turns oh, into a swan and she's always turning back into a swan <laughs> even in the in the sequels. But so. <laughs> Which is um, great. I think the first thing that we noticed with this one is we had to look this up. Uh, it turns out it's a bow behind her back. We thought that she was like crouching, <laughs> like yeah. a frog, literally crouching, or like, she and... had like tiny anime legs just coming straight into the air, like at breast level. That's just yeah. where her legs go. She and could that's... have been leaning over, maybe. But yeah, we we both sat here for about a minute, like oh, like, like she's a porn star and Ooh. she's just like she's crouching like a frog, and then <laughs> yeah. or maybe she's some sort of like amputee. <laughs> She says her, her nubs in the air, but... Yeah, it's just the way that is rendered looks exactly like frog legs, yeah. basically. Yeah, well, like, it's also very similar to her hair color, or not her hair color, very similar to her, her skin color, so we were just, we were a little confused, yeah. but, um, yeah, so it's supposed to be like a bow. Um, I think the bow in the pictures we were looking at were was a little bit more yellow 
Like, not as, not as, be- I guess this is more of, like, a peach or a muted color. Yeah. So maybe, like, pushing that would have made it. was also sort of transparent. It was transparent, yeah. I guess this isn't Trans- quite as transparent. transparent. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also, I'm not sure if that's official art or fan art and stuff, the ones we were looking at. These is- ones? Yeah. This is official. Oh, that's official? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it kind of looks like card captors. Like, like yeah, that, it's, that, the same it's color. It's the same sort of thing. It's, it's like, an interesting anime. Like, magical girl anime. I didn't get terribly far into it. Like, I think I got, like, two or three episodes, and I just, yeah, I, it didn't really catch me. So, so, so I'm curious, like, is it just, like, a Japan thing where they have, like, the, the wing fluff, like, on the sides of the heads? Because Gwendolyn from, uh, from say, that's Odinsphere, literally the first time I've seen that. Oh, Gwen- she does? Gwendolyn like, from yeah, Odinsphere has the same thing, yeah. So, it, is it, like, a thing in Japan? Like, um, I don't know. It's not her hair. I, I don't think it's her hair. Is it like earmuffs? Is she cold? I think so. I mean that. that I mean that's that's beyond it. Like honestly, I thought this was like Odin Sphere fan art for a second. I'm like, but Gwendolyn has white hair. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, no, no. I just thought that was interesting. It has nothing to do with the artwork. I was just curious about wing hair. So <laughs> um, let's get to actual critiquing on this. Okay. Uh, let's bring it down. Bring it down to Pain Town. Okay. Her uh, her armpit area, a little weird. Like, it's, uh, you can tell they're supposed to be armpits, but... Okay, so, the easiest way that I go about this is, you're essentially, your boob muscle is the same one that is your shoulder. Oh, is it? Is that how it works? (laughs) Well, yeah. Here, I'm, let me... Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, Yeah. so, like, your chest muscle there, which hoists your boobs, um, (laughs) is that sort of boundary that she has for the darker part, but that tends to come across and then become the shoulder. Yeah. Like, so... That's the part here where um, you can see this line, and it, it just starts, like, the, the line of the muscle just sort of goes to the middle of the arm, where it, def- it definitely wraps around up yeah. top. Um, so that would definitely be something to fix. Um, so, honestly, if you just take this line and you just, like, crook it towards the top and you sort of ease off the shadow when you get towards the, the top of the arm again, um, that'll honestly be pretty solid. And if you look um, at yourself in the mirror, like, that's honestly a good... I, well, no, I mean, it is. I'm just... No, I'm just laughing because in the, the, the previous fridge chart, it's just... Or the previous mini fridge is just like, find a picture, <laughs> ask a mom, take a picture, and it just... Just, just well, get all the resources of moms. Well, and, moms and do have armpits that you can draw. They sure do. And, and, uh, and muscles. Sometimes. Unless you have a, a mom that doesn't. In which don't use that mom. My dad is missing a chest muscle. So I can't ask him to do ballerina. You should pictures. really, you should really just draw him anyway, because that's medically fascinating. You, I was gonna say, unfortunately, you're gonna move out by the time he he comes and he visits me next weekend. But you're like, do you want me to have him take off his shirt so you can look at his non chest? <laughs> I kind of do. Like, I medically <laughs> want to see that. Like, it it just it's it's weird. Like, it's fine. Like, it, like does it I, literally so you, just a sunken bit in his chest? Let's see. Let's like, take a break from it. Man like, missing chest muscle. <laughs> man missing head. Do you um, see anything that looks similar? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh. it's like this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, oh my god. It I, looks I'm, like he's dying. Oh. I'm very used to it because, like, yeah, that's, my, that's ah, what my dad looks like. They have a medical picture of it. It's literally missing a chest muscle. This one? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and he used to get people to just punch him straight in the in the oh. chest, and it would hurt like a bitch. Yeah, but oh yeah, my this, god, uh, like that. That looks like he, he has, has a little bit more fat than this. It but. literally looks like he's one of the monsters from Silent Hill. <laughs> like you know, like Good. that's how oh, you like this one. Here's a body melter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wild. Oh, that is horrifying. I didn't realize that was something that could actually happen, and yeah. he wouldn't just be like dead. Like, you're freaking out, but, like, I literally grew up with this, so it's not that weird to me. Oh, I guess my dad has all his chest muscles, so, I suppose you know. that's the difference between <laughs> you and I, is... No, my, my family has a history of just having birth defects, so... He lived next to the Chicago River, and... Uh, <laughs> we didn't, full though! Of, full of mercury. Germans Maybe. are very susceptible to, <laughs> to mercury. Germans are a mutant bunch, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's those impure genes. Mm. That's possible because we we my family did things before that whole thing happened, so maybe that's why I left. Yeah, gotta. <laughs> well, there you go. So don't choose someone who doesn't have a chest muscle to draw that part of the body, because unless you just want to draw her without a chest muscle, so she'll just be. Could she hold her arm up like that? If she didn't. Can your dad do things? He can hold his arms up. I don't know. <laughs> 
Well, his one side is weaker than his other side. Okay. Because, like, like, he can't, like... Say... No, he can't... Like, all of his other muscles are built up to compensate for it. Oh, my God. He just, instead of having, like, more of a pulling motion, he just has, like, he doesn't, like, pull forward very well, but he can push back and do stuff like that because he has back muscles and everything, so... It literally looks like something is missing. That's really cool. It's a, it's a chest. A chest muscle is missing. I didn't know that's what people look like without chest muscles. And that's yeah, kind it, of it's weird just looking. like he has one. Like a, he has one man boob and then like a non boob. Well, kind of like a like a dog's chest almost. Like they don't have like that. <laughs> no, I mean like they have like just like a very smooth chest and then their arms are kind of there. You know, some dogs, not all dogs. Well, yeah, but I mean it kind of looks like that. Dogs but they just have a human muscles. chest and then like a dog chest right next to it. It's like oh my god. Anyways, about this picture, let's <laughs> not talk about dog chest. I keep thinking she's squatting. <laughs> you know, yeah. But, but. It's, it's definitely, it's sort of consistent with that sort of under shadow as well. Mm-hmm. Um, the, I like the, I like the, the characterization of the, the small bird person version of them. Like, yeah. I think that was done really well. Hey, it's cute. Um, she's doing the, you know, you can definitely tell it's ballet related. I think, for let's, the let's go into the face. Okay. Let's do it. Um, so... I didn't realize her mouth was open. Like I thought that she just had like a like a big lip. So you might want to like. Honestly, or is it a big lip? Or is she like smiling? No, but it's she a, has. No, because like because like, well, if you look at Gundam Seed, that's also how they they draw like Not smiles. Everything can be Gundam Seed. Okay? I'm just saying it's it's a thing. Some anime people do have a light smile, but so the two things that I I'm I'm seeing the most is that underneath the neck. There's mm. no, like, neck meat. There's just, like, an abscess. There's, like, a, a missing shadow area. So, essentially, um, if you look up... <laughs> this just reminds me of that, that fucking penis thing I had to deal with the fish. <laughs> that, like, every, every... The underside of everybody's head. Like, if you're looking straight up, mm-hmm. your jaw and the connecting line of your jaw, like, your it's, chin down your neck, it looks like convex. a penis. Well, no. I'm, what I'm saying is that, like, it has, like, a sort of... That's a really interesting way of putting it. Everything, well, you know, it's because everybody got on my ass. They're like, "Oh, it's a big penis in the sky." I'm like, "That's what the underside of a fish looks like." I can't like, help that. Like, it's instead of concave, it's convex. Yeah, yeah. It, it has form to it, so and it would honestly um, probably be lighter. It definitely than needs the size. skin, you know, and and yeah, definitely lighter underneath that. Um, and also, the eyes are very far apart. Yeah, and which sometimes is a stylish, it's stylish thing. But if you're going for a more realistic look, definitely. Yeah, that's also, the there's no shadows underneath her eye, eyebrows. Yeah, you know? I would definitely like the. It, it comes off as very flat, and it's because yeah. you have the same sort of light on on. Well, yeah, no, it doesn't have any light by the eyebrows, but it's just it doesn't have any real value like towards her nose or the sides of her nose. Yeah, which would have a, a bit of a different shade. The nose would be you know lighter and yeah. stuff. So it it be, makes it very very flat. Yeah, and there's no, like, side to the nose. Yeah, is that what you meant? Is that there's no, like, yeah, her yeah, nose, just, there's no, there would be shading on the side if the, the lighting was directly from the front. Yeah. And stuff like that. And you would be able to see a clear definition of a nose. Also, also, uh, in the face, like, sort of these, uh, eye pits, you know, like. Yeah, between, basically between. Between your nose. Yeah. Or it always gets around, Surrounded. Your, your nose area. Uh, essentially, your your head is a skull. So you're always going to have the big open <laughs> sockets skull. that are always going to come in a little bit. And if you sort of yeah. deny that, that's where it gets this very flat look. Yeah, so... Yeah. I like yeah. the hands. Like, the hands are really simplified, but mm-hmm. they're not bad. Like, I like them. They're very, very simple, but... Um, like, it seems half like a stylistic thing and half... Oh, yeah. Yeah, because like with the with the little little duck's wings, the little little mm-hmm. goose, little tutu, um, she uh, like of course that seems like a more stylistic choice. The you know yeah, that, like more close to the anime where right. and that and that's fine. I mean if that's if that's the look you're going for, that's the look you're going for. But like the swan in the back, like doesn't seem as realistic. Like in terms of like the wing, it looks like it should be, but it's not. Yeah, like I think Let me back up a little bit. Um... Yeah, I would I would definitely look at just regular um, swan wings. I would also maybe look into, you know, sort of extending some of this body down yeah. a little bit. Because the sort of tilted thing off to the side and it just ends beyond it is sort of off-putting. Yeah, it looks like it literally has, like, a, like legs made out of wings or something, like the swan. Like, there's no, like, butt part like yeah, and, just, and tail part. It doesn't have any body to it. Yeah, no body. Its wings just go throughout the whole thing. And it's definitely probably a stylized choice, but... I, I would like, definitely just look at open swan wings and stuff. 
Yeah. And sort of mimic that shape. Because, like... Because if a swan was like that, the the very edge of the wing would be so thin, and, and most of the wing would be super dark. Yeah, I like, think the other the other part of this is like I would definitely have something sort of come down from the swan behind it because right now yeah. these characters are interacting in mm-hmm. a very sort of surface way. So, like, there's a bit of interaction. There's a bit of interesting like stuff, visual stuff for your eyes to focus on as mm-hmm. uh, interaction. Um, between, like, the hands and the bird feet and stuff, so it's like, oh, you know, that's interesting, and this bird and the swan behind it is interesting, but you could tie it together a lot better if you just put something behind it. If you connected all of these three up. Yeah. It would be definitely much better. It's, for me, it's also a contrast thing between the, yeah. uh, the, uh, little tutu and, uh, swan tutu in the back. hmm And, uh, like, I, it's very difficult, like, there's a really good contrast between, your, your, uh, computer made a boop boop, but, uh, um... Sorry, I have no idea what that meant, but... I don't either. That frightens me. Uh, it just sounded like something was disconnecting, so make sure, I guess, it's recording. Let's quit Skype. Or maybe it was that, I don't know. But, uh... That doesn't, but, that doesn't pick up in here anyways. Oh, okay, but, uh, but basically, like, the, uh, the contrast... There's a really good contrast between, like, the swan in the background and, uh, human tutu in the background, but, like, duck tutu <laughs> is, uh... I don't know, I don't okay, know names. Okay, so... The little swan, yellow chick. duck, woman. Let's just yeah, do it swan, like that. Swan, duck, woman. Okay. So, so duck doesn't have a good contrast, but, you know, because the, the swan is The duck and the background. swan are a similar color. Yeah, they're similar, they are like, similar, contrast. Yes, they're yeah. a similar light value. Yeah, like... So they don't stand out from each other. I would look into just using some of these sort of... Like, I really like these blues and some of these, like, greens. Mm-hmm. Like, very light blue-greens coming in. I would definitely apply a lot more of that to the swan. And I would not have this sticking out as much as it is. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's very prominent, and it's very interesting, but I would definitely put, like, maybe just... Some rim col- lighting. Well, the like, the color of the or... neck, this top part of the neck might stay, but if you just sort of faded that into, like, that blue, and yeah. you give it, like, a really interesting shape and, like, interesting feathers and stuff, then that would definitely tie things together a lot more mm-hmm. and, you know, have things stand out from each other and, you know, make them work better. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. That's a... Uh... Yeah. No, that's a... That is a good point. So, I mean, and also since it's kind of in space, like, even if you didn't want to draw, like, she's the rest of the... Space. Well, like, it, it, well, you know, like, <laughs> the background is sort of spacey and, and stuff like that. Like, there's a good... You could also, like, have the swan fade in, like, like clouds or, you know, or, like, magic or something. I don't know the canon, but there's probably a good way to do it. I if think you, it's, it's just more of, like, a symbol. And that instead of her being, like, the swan princess and she's actually a swan, she's just, like, a, an angry goose. Goose chick thing. Goose chick with a, with a big bang. Oh, yeah, she's got it too. So. Yeah, opposite bananas. <laughs> I just thought they were bananas on the head. <laughs> um, like but yeah, like uh, the coloring is very subtle. I might look into like your your tonal changes and stuff, like under her armpits and stuff here. Like it's pretty stark, straight into light, and the arm. You have to remember the arm is very rounded, and it has you know facets and planes and stuff to it. Not as as uh, stark as like a face or something, but there are definitely yeah. slight value changes. And even something as straight like an arm. So I would look into, you know, stuff, especially around the wrist, you'll get, like, a little indentation beneath it, and you have, like, sort of arm muscles. Um, Yeah, Andrea has a good arm for it because she's so thin. It's like, like, mine is so soft, like, and it's not that I'm, like, super overweight, it's just that I have, like, like, yeah, like, fatty tissue. I I like to think I have good hands for, like, villains. You really do. You almost have, like, not man hands, but, like, really good hands. It's cool. (laughs) Well, no, just the arm itself is really good anatomically. Like, I have, like, kind of sausage hands. Like, so my fingers just don't look good when I'm, like, angry. And it's just like, oh, that's a terrible hand to draw. Yeah, Andrea has fantastic art hands. And... Andrea is thin and veiny. Yep, that is fantastic. I just have my hands like claws, and I'm just so, moving them around. So if you're like me, where you... Yeah, my, my arm is just disappointing. Like, it has no... <laughs> like, you can kind of, like... You can barely see any definition. It's not that I'm, like... Like, super fat or anything, it's just my skin blocks it, you know. I have just... definite, like, flip-flop sides to my wrist. My wrist is also very thick, so... Yeah, uh, we, we both have very different bones, types of bones. Yeah. And that's also something to keep in mind. Like, yeah. not really for those. You can... If you need me to just do, like, some, some veiny-ass hands <laughs> over my hand, I can, but... I think for, for women, though. I think for, you know, for a, well, a that's dainty the thing. It's like, woman. I have dainty woman wrists and then man hands. Okay. Oh, that's true. I have... <laughs> I don't have female hands anyway, so don't use mine. <laughs> No, mine just look like unisex hands. I would hands. say you. I would say you have female hands. <laughs> really? Yeah. They just look to me like sausage unisex hands. You're like you can't tell. It's just it's ambiguous. Androgynous hands. 
<laughs> Dumb unisex hands. No, you do have very thin wrists. I have just very Yeah, I can do powerful. that thing where I can I can touch my pinky finger and my thumb together and it goes around my wrist. Like essentially <laughs> I have to get like off. child's <laughs> I have to get like child size like wrists. Or like um bracelets and stuff. Oh. But then my, my chunky man hands won't allow those <laughs> bracelets to go on. So there you go. So enjoy enjoy the differences in anatomy that everyone has because Yeah, I would you know. back to the image. Um you have an interesting color spectrum and stuff. Like you can see a, a decent amount of, of shadow and stuff on duck tutu here. Um and I would look at that sort of value gradient and try to apply it to Woman tutu. Well, yeah. Well, the pink and the blue go together really well, including the yellow. That's basically the primary colors. So, <laughs> you know. No, I mean, that's good. It, it, it does go together, but I'm just saying it could use more contrast. It yeah, could use yeah. a little more depth Like on stuff the side. Like, yeah, like the sides of her, her chest and everything. Yeah, um, the sides could definitely be in shadow, especially if the light is coming in from the upper top. Like, you, can, like, you can definitely focus in your drawings mm-hmm. a lot more if you, if you sort of, I guess, corral lighting towards the main part. Spotlighting, I guess. Spotlighting, yeah. I don't know what the actual term is, so but like, like noir lighting, basically. Well, what I mean is, is like, if you took some of this, like, this blue that's between this pink stuff here next to the dark thing, and you sort of did that on the edges and the sides of this dress, like, mm-hmm. it's going away in space, that's going to lead a lot to the, to the uh, roundness or the um, 3D-ness. What am I trying to say? I don't know what, what, what do you mean? Like, well, basically, if you just, I don't know, I would take a... It adds like a, to the, the volume, I guess, of this yeah, image. The, the it'll, it'll make it look less flat. Yeah. Um, <coughs> bless you. Oh, goodness. Bless you. Oh, I'm, I'm unblessed now. <clears throat> like, honestly, like, if I, if I were you, and I wanted to add, like, a, a really quick shadow in before I started painting it, I would probably take a, like, a multiple la- multiplied layer of the, the nice blue you have there, mm-hmm. and kind of just add it to the si- her sides and a little bit closer to the bottom. Yeah, and I definitely think that would help, that. And that would definitely help focus in the piece. It would give you some contrast to work with to begin with, but, you know, you know and you, of course you'll build it up. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll give you a good base to go on. Yeah. You know, because right now, it, it, like Andrea said, it is a little flat. The only um, other thing I can see, and it's a small nitpick, is uh, behind Duck Tutu here, there's just, it looks like you sort of erased out, or you were sort of like uh, refining the legs a bit. Um, and it just has this like weird blue negative shape mm-hmm. behind it. That's really distracting. Like, it, it looks unfinished. It looks like it was a mistake. Um, so if you just took like this regular blue and sort of filled it in, then it'll... Mm-hmm bring that together more. Yeah. So, I, I think this is, I think we're fairly good on this one. Yeah. No, I mean. I would add, add more contrast where needed. I would add more detail to specific areas like the face or maybe this necklace and, and stuff and, um, would fix, definitely fix these, uh, swan wings. Mm-hmm. They're very distracting. Make them connect more together and then, uh, add a little bit of depth. There you go. Yeah, depth. <laughs> I think I said <laughs> a little depth bit. earlier. You must not have heard me. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, and adding a little bit of blue to the sides to sort of bring in your lighting will add a lot of depth to your picture. So, yeah. Do you have anything yeah. else for this? No, I think overall, uh, you know, I, I think this is actually pretty good. Like, yeah. the color, the colors are, are fairly harmonious. Like, of course, like, her skin tone, yeah, you I know, like it could be pushed a, a little bit, but, but the actual, like, the, the meat of the colors, the, the blue, the yellow, and the, and the pink are, are really harmonious, and, and I would definitely push that. Yeah, you know it's good. No, this is this is pretty interesting. I think it has yeah. a lot of a lot of potential for it. And it'd be it'd be interesting to see uh, if you push it a little bit further. Yeah, thumbs up, two thumbs up, blah, two yeah. hitchhiker thumbs up. Oh yeah, Angie has hitchhiker <laughs> thumbs. It's weird. That's a genetic trait. Mine are straight and narrow. Well, actually, they're straight and sausage like. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh. Okay, uh, well, this has been Mini Fridge. If you guys want to send your pieces along to us for critique, we are uh, fridgeartpodcast at gmail.com. Um, if we don't get to your stuff immediately, do not despair. Like, we had, we're going to record a few of them today. Um, but then we came across this one, we're like, yeah, okay, we got a lot of stuff to say about this, and we just, like, we literally just got this. So, mm-hmm. um, if you haven't seen your stuff pop up yet, again, don't despair. We're probably going to go through pretty much everybody. Um but yeah, if eventually. You want your, I mean, eventually. We, just, we just have to, you know. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys want your stuff critiqued, just send it along. Uh, let us know if we can use your name or not. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you have anything else? 
No, I mean, no, we, I mean, I enjoy doing this. It's nice seeing what other people do and, and yeah. giving critiques because I really wish that it's I nice would to be able to get critiques when I was, you Likewise, know. Likewise, yeah. Yeah, because the internet is great. <laughs> the internet is the good internet. in a lot of different ways, but the internet can be very frustrating at the same time. Yeah, because you'll see, well, like all the, all my favorite artists starting out on DeviantArt were probably not artists I should have been, like, <laughs> idolizing. They were just, like, terrible, terrible anime artists that giant eyes and soulless faces. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I watched a lot of those at one point, too. Okay. Yeah, but Well, thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. Uh, have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye. <laughs>